my living room. We're gonna get to the Big Texan Steak Ranch in Amarillo, Texas in just a moment. I just don't have an intro from the restaurant. In fact, I wasn't supposed to have this footage at all. This video is brought to you completely thanks to my friend Mark, Mark Frohungry on social media, who retrieved this footage from a terabyte hard drive that I pretty much destroyed. So welcome to the lost footage. I was able to put together the entire challenge with the GoPro footage and the main camera footage um, to share with you. So this is me at the Big Texan just about a year ago in September of 2019, taking on the famous, the legendary, the iconic Big Texan 72 ounce steak challenge times Two. Let me show you what it's all about. When your food's about ready, your server will get on stage with you and really put you on the spot and remind everybody what's going down. Listen up, cowboys, because you're in for a treat today. This little lady came all the way from Arizona to take on not one, but two of the big Texan 72 ounce steak challenges. Ah, applause, applause, applause. Or just noise and confusion. Birthday's going on somewhere over there. She'll be eating not one, but two of our 72 ounce steaks, along with two shrimp cocktails, two side salads, two dinner rolls, and two loaded baked potatoes. Let's see what she's made of. We're gonna give her one bite to approve the cook on the meat, and then we're gonna start the countdown. Cool? Cool. You have to approve the cook on it, so if you said medium, hopefully it came out to your liking, because it'd be really awkward to send food back to the kitchen at this point. Then they'll ask you if you have any last questions, requests, final thoughts, words, prayers. No, in that case, let's put one hour on the clock for each steak. So two hours, one, two, three, boom. You got two hours to eat everything. Godspeed. Just a few things here before I speed it up. The steak uh, was cooked perfectly rare, just the way I asked for it. And from what I remember, it was seasoned really nicely too. And it always makes the challenge more pleasant manageable and fun when the food tastes good. So big ups to Big Texan. To be honest, I was on day two of my road trip. So uh, I was moving across country and I'd been eating out of gas stations for like 48 hours. So probably anything would have tasted good, but this was a nice challenge. You can't exactly see, but to my left or to the right of the screen, a line of people uh, is starting to form. So just uh, diners who wanted to come up and say hi. Everybody was super friendly. Some people asked uh, to take pictures. Uh, there were a few people who just kind of came up and filmed without saying a word, which was interesting, but everybody was super nice. So you'll see me doing my best to eat and engage with everybody who came by. You are on stage, so this challenge draws a lot of attention. So that's kind of what's going on. In any case, I'm gonna speed this up and enjoy some steak. I just want to point out that I have about 51 minutes and 40 seconds left on the clock because the server actually offered to pick up the GoPro and do a 360 degree pan of the restaurant and I thought great that's cool uh, I actually had two cameras going so uh, I figured that would make for a great addition unfortunately I did this challenge like a year ago and I lost the first part of the main camera footage so um, it feels ridiculous that I even need to point this out there are creators out there who like to play pretend that they eat large meals by, I don't know, doing cutaways or spitting food into their napkins. Uh, but here we are with 51 minutes and 8 seconds left. I clearly haven't gone anywhere and I'm still very slowly eating the first half of steak number one. I haven't even touched anything else. So steak number two is sitting there, the rest of steak number one is closest to you guys. Every, all the sides are still on the table and if you stick around, uh, you'll see me consume all of that, maybe if I successfully complete this double challenge. Who knows, we'll see. But um, the point being, everything's still on the table. As I mentioned, I did this challenge in September of 2019, so about a year ago as of this upload. Um, that was made possible because a friend recovered a whole bunch of footage that I thought was lost forever. So 
If you'd like to see more Forever Ago Friday uploads, let me know in the comments section down below and we'll dig into the vault and see what else we can find. If you're still here, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna move on to the second half of steak number one, which is what you see right there. Let's speed it up and see how the rest of this challenge goes. the first half of steak number one I decided to take advantage of all the variety here and after eating over two pounds of meat I figured that the dinner salad would be a nice change of pace it's your basic chopped iceberg with wedges of tomato slices of cucumber and julienne carrots and a choice of dressing um, I really had no strategy here they offer like 12 different types of dressing but I just said Italian because I figured it wouldn't be too sweet but um, whatever works for you the great thing about this challenge is the variety so you'll see me scraping the rest of the first salad onto the plate of the second salad. To be honest, I like eating salads out of bowls for this very reason. It just got difficult trying to get the last pieces of lettuce. So I put it with the second one and I'm going to finish that later. Here I'm switching it up again, this time with shrimp cocktail. It's actually three pieces of fried shrimp per challenge. Um, delicious, but if you're allergic or just don't like shrimp, I found out later on that they'll give you a different side instead. So another plus on the variety. So I really wanted to show you guys what the steak looked like up close. So about 20 minutes into the challenge, I decided to test out my carving skills and do a little presentation. Uh, this is the best I could do. So uh, I asked for the steak rare, which I pretty much got. And I do want to point out that the Big Texan does not make you or even ask you to eat the gristle and the fat. So um, you can set those pieces aside. I'm pretty sure I ended up eating all of that anyway, just because it was hard to judge. But that's what the steak kind of looks like up close. Uh, just imagine 72 ounces, or in my case, 144 ounces of that. Steak number one is down. I just have a couple pieces of shrimp left and the dinner roll and baked potato. Uh, I might have said loaded baked potato on accident earlier, but as you can see, it's a basic baked potato. They're so nice, they might have made it a loaded baked potato if I'd asked. Anyway, it's a basic baked potato. They do give you lots of sour cream and butter, which I used a lot of.
In case you didn't catch that, the server just offered to reheat the second half of my second steak. At this point, 32 minutes has elapsed. He's assuming that it's gotten cold, so he's gonna throw it back on the grill, um, which happens to be directly by the stage, so right over there to my, to my right. Um, and before taking it away, he explains that the time does not stop while the meat is being reheated. And of course I say, that's fine. Thank you for offering. Cool. He's going to bring it back in a few minutes. So that's what's going on. All right, here we go. I don't want it too long on there. Here I'm about 14 minutes into the second steak challenge. So a total of 40 minutes have elapsed and I still have a lot of steak left of challenge number two. Uh, the whole dinner roll, the baked potato and the fried shrimp. Uh, but I'm still obviously way ahead of schedule because I have an hour to complete each challenge for a total of two hours. I'm really just eating leisurely and you know, appreciating this much needed break and wonderful food, saying hi to the people stopping by. But if I were to do this all over again, I would probably shoot to have both of them done within an hour just to, I don't know, just to make a brown number or something like that. Um, we'll see how I do. Okay, I know I eat really properly with utensils and uh, some of you guys have pointed out that I'm very clean and proper, almost obnoxiously so. And I'm sorry, it's just a personal preference. It's, you know, to each their own, but I feel like when I'm in a restaurant setting, I want the people around me to be able to enjoy their meals without eating in a fast, gross manner. You know, so unless there is money on the line, unless I'm racing a house record time for money, I just don't see the point in it. So again, to each their own, it's just the way I eat, and I'm sorry if my cleanliness annoys you. Hope you're enjoying the video.